Hi, I'm Sarah Borellis, and I'm talking to Playbill about the return of Waitress. It's been beautiful. It's been complicated. It's been a, a surreal, exciting, emotional experience to come back. Um, I'm so much more raw and emotional than I thought I would be. I think I thought I was like kind of prepared and I've done this before. And I mean, from day one, getting back into the room with everybody, it was just so tender. Working together is so tender and the material for me in this time is just feeling so rich and so sad and so joyful it's just like everything feels intensified because i think of what we've all gone through we're just all different people walking back into the room with there's some significant changes to actually how the show is mechanically happening on stage so we don't have automation anymore so that a lot of our set changes everything is being orchestrated very differently so there's been a lot of relearning um but some of it has been like riding a bike some of it, i remember most of the music so that's nice <laughs> um i'd be really worried if i didn't but um yeah it's it's feeling fresh though i think we've been we've all been away from it long enough where there is space for rediscovery, which is really nice. And we're actually being really intentional intentional about um, avoiding muscle memory. Don't want to fall back into just the same grooves. They're so strong sometimes, but I think we're really trying to approach the material with a lot of intentionality and just a new perspective. There are certain things that have been revisited like in the sense we lost one of our original Broadway company members, Nick Cordero, sadly to COVID. And so we have this opportunity now to bake him into the material in a beautiful way. He's got, we've named a pie after him, a big old slice of live your life pie. It's on the pie board. There's a line in the show that references that pie. It's, um, it's been beautiful to kind of just tease out the little moments that are feeling that they just need a little bit of spit shine but um you know that was one moment that felt very very meaningful to us as a company and um so i'm excited for the audience to to experience that with us i got a call from our producers and it was barry and fran weisler i give them all the credit you know they really pushed hard to make this happen we um we got this little pocket of time at one of the Schubert theaters at the incredible Barrymore theater. And, um, it was like, are you open to this? And for me, it was like, yes, absolutely. To be a part of the community of artists, welcoming people back into the theater after this horrific and long awaited <laughs> time. It's just, uh, yeah, it feels like just such a gift. It's, I, it feels like a miracle that it's even happening. We had a closing date, you know, so to get this little pocket of time to come back and revisit with this show and these themes of hope and resiliency and community, it just feels like yes, yes, a million times yes. I first and foremost hope they feel safe. I'm so proud of the theaters at large for being so stringent about our COVID policies because I really feel like it's reflective of just how the world is going to need to work until we really get this under control. Um, everybody's vaccinated. Everybody's in a mask. We are tested regularly. I'm just really grateful for that. So as someone going to work, I can feel safe, as safe as we can be in this crazy time. Um, but I hope that the audience comes and feels safe. And I hope they just receive as much joy and as much heart as is being put forth in this show. This is an extraordinary cast. This is a lot of our original Broadway company members have come back. Um, I feel so lucky to get to be inside the world of Waitress again as Jenna. Um, 
My boyfriend, Joe Tippett, is taking on the role of Earl. He was who we built this role on. He was our very, very original Earl. He's extraordinary, and he's been so tender about taking on the role of our beloved Nick. And so there's just a beautiful sense of community and, and a real humanity that we're kind of taking on backstage that I hope really comes forth towards the audience and they can feel like they got a warm hug. You know, we're not touching, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.